So this is a quick review of the Mini DV Sports Camera. It's a cheap standard definition camera, which is um, uh, 480 by about 620 pixels, I believe. Um, it'll cost you £10, and being so cheap, you don't get much. Essentially, it's a power button, stop and record, and then you have a couple of mode options, which I can't remember, and a micro SD card slot there, which I have taped up on this one to stop water getting in because um, it doesn't come with a cover. Uh, you also get a um, a few mounts. You obviously get your micro uh, or even mini USB cable I think. You also get a crocodile clip mount which is quite quite useful and a mount for I'm not sure what you call it but which quite useful for bolting it to a flat surface yeah. um, you might be noticing the excessive amounts of sellotape that's because how I've chosen to mount this one is I've taken a bicycle reflector. Uh, I've unscrewed the reflector bit from the back and sellotaped it to the mini DV camera and that makes for quite a nice mount. It's very secure and um, quite simple to use. You just screw that to the um, to the bike half of the um, of the mount. Um, at £10, obviously, the mounts you get aren't great, which was to be expected, so you have to be quite inventive when it comes to mounting it. But with a little bit of sellotape, string, a few screws, you can come up with some quite good setups. And the crocodile clip mount is very useful for attaching it to clothing, so that's quite a nice one. So, build quality can't complain at all, it's sturdy, doesn't feel like it's going to break. I even turned it upside down and rested the weight of my bike on it and it survived with only a few scratches. Uh, the, the video quality, which um, I will show you in a second, is it's pretty good considering how cheap it is. Um, as I said, standard definition, so it's not going to compare to the likes of GoPros and uh, Contours, but it is it's certainly um, certainly good for how much you've paid. Um, sound quality is not great, acceptable, but not great. There is a built-in mic somewhere on it. I think that's it there, perhaps. Perhaps that. Okay, so I'll show you some um, clips of the camera in action, and um, so you can see the quality for yourself.
So to wrap up, I'd say for £10, you can't really go wrong with this device. Um, I bought this particular one from Amazon, and um, all the reviews there were very good. Um, a couple of people had had the camera go wrong on them uh, quite shortly after taking it out of the box, but they all said they got a replacement, which worked. So um, I'd definitely say if you're looking for a sports camera, and don't have the budget to go for an HD one, this is definitely, definitely worth a shot.